What is up everybody and welcome back to episode 17 of our Minecraft Let's Build series. Today we have the semi-automatic sheep farm that is standing right behind me underneath the iron farm. So I cannot wait to show you guys that. Oh my god. So like I was saying before I knocked out a piece of my uh, pillar right here to my house, we have a new uh, project today. It is the semi-automatic wheat farm. I mean the sheep farm, sorry. And I had it done last episode, but I still had some things I wanted to do to it a little bit. So I saved it for this episode, and last episode we did the resource storage uh, building over there for our chicken and uh, cow farm. We'll be swinging over there here in just a second. But first, I'm actually going to build something for you guys. First thing I've ever, first time I've ever done this, and I'm just gonna place these iron stands right here. There we go. Look how good that looks. So this is gonna be our leather. This is gonna be our iron, our gold, and we already have our diamond armor stand right there. And as always, I am still in a hotel, so internet sucks. So there's no additions to the uh, the community area right now. But if you can look out there, you can sort of see the mushroom farm, the path leading out to the mushroom farm. So let's go ahead and head down. We're going to grab a dog, and we're going to head over there to the Love Garden, add somebody new to it, and then we're going to start with the episode and see what we have new going on in the world. And look at all the trees. That is something I'm doing now. I'm adding more trees to the world and trying to just make it look more natural. Uh, for some reason, I first started, I cleared out all the trees. I didn't want any trees for some reason. And uh, one, I accidentally grew one by accident. I thought it looked really good, so... I'm just going to start adding trees in and, you know, just seeing what that looks like. Oh, God. All right, so we're at the Who Let the Dogs Out Dog House and very weird name. And he is not named. I think we're going to name him Pumpkin. Let's call him Pumpkin because he has the orange collar on for some reason. So this is Mr. Pumpkin. And, uh, yeah, he's going to go with us today. And i bring some steak for him just in case. Or some pork chops, so. Let's go ahead and check out what we got going on today. So, we're going to head over here really quick. Last up, George, oh my god. He's still not going back to where he's supposed to go. He's just still staying there for some reason. Ah, there's our dog. Okay. So, let me go ahead and give this to him. He's going to freak out. Alright, so as we did last episode, these are all, you know, revamped up a little bit. Have some sunflowers going. Here is our resource, uh, they were calling it cabin, the resource cabin. So that is pretty cool. All this right here is all the same. And, but that is new. And also we expanded the path out over there. And you can kind of see we did something in the backyard of the Love Garden. So, but anyway, for today, our newest addition is Annihilation Studios. He subscribed to the channel not too long ago. So I would like to go ahead and welcome him to the Love Garden. So what is this? Oh god, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the mushroom farm really quick and see about that. And then we'll head over here, check out the backyard and also the new path over there. And then we'll go over there and head out to the uh, sheep farm and I will show you guys that. So uh, the path right here kind of turned out all right. Um, I think I showed this last episode, but I added the bushes when I added the bushes in. And I think it looks really nice. We're gonna, I'm not sure if we're gonna redo this or not. Um, it kind of looks alright. It's working okay. I don't really use mushrooms a lot yet because I don't have a potion uh, area yet. I haven't really messed up potions in this world so far. So we're probably going to keep it the same. I'm sure we'll need a lot more eventually, but for now this is fine. And I get a whopping like 8 mushrooms per hour, so I mean what more can a guy need, right? So uh, let's go ahead and head over here to the love garden and check out the back. We're actually going to head around this back way. See, this path right here is going to head out to the jungle area. Uh, we'll probably be doing this here soon. Not sure if it's going to be an unveil or if it's something we're just going to go ahead and start building. Uh, not sure yet. I want like a, the uh, Star Wars Ewok vibe. Just a bunch of tree houses and the trees connecting. Nothing on the ground. Just everything in the trees. We'll have our own like personal, uh, our own home over there. Kind of like what we have right there. But in a treehouse form. Another HQ out there. And our fun land is actually based 
out there, like right past the village or the jungle, I mean, that's where our fun land is at. So it is pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, here is the entrance to our love garden from the back. I went ahead and added this bridge in. Uh, I really did not have any other ideas besides doing this, but I think it turned out all right. Um, kind of looks like a spider missing half of its legs, uh, I guess is the best way to explain it. And this dog is just going wild. Oh my God. But anyway, uh, yeah, I added this in. I think it looks pretty cool, kind of spiced at the back. There was nothing back here. Uh, added in the path leading to it and also leading to the lighthouse. Um, I have to adjust this a little bit, you know, add some of this stuff in here, uh, fix this up. And I added in the uh, sugar cane, bamboo, whatever you want to call it, reeds, and put some uh, lily pads down as well. This was actually uh, harder to make than you guys think, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, first time I've ever made a lake. This is actually wasn't here. There's was like a tiny little dip, but there's no water. So that's probably not as good as I think it is, but I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out. Oh my god. That dog's crazy, man. This is one of the first times I've ever taken a dog on an episode before. But he is going absolutely crazy. And he's frowning at me. Really, buddy? Okay, let's go. So, uh, anyway, this path is going to stretch out all the way to the back here. It's going to lead down all the way down here. Might have some stuff branching off here, maybe. Uh, just depends. And it was going to come all the way over here. It is getting dark. I apologize if it's too dark out right now. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> and it's going to lead up here, probably cross this. And I'm thinking about, like, that right there, that tree is where we're going to be, is our HQ. Maybe a little bit farther out. Maybe these over there. But that's kind of my thinking for it. Um, I'm going to connect this waterway and this waterway for our lake town over there. And, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know, was that a flower? What was that? No, okay. Sorry, I'm like, I get excited every time I see the new flowers. Um, I'm still learning a lot about the new update, whether you can sit there and use bone meal to spawn the new flowers in or not. So, I started testing out a little bit. You'll see over there by the, uh, what is this? Oh, oh man, let's not go on there right now. Let's just not. But, uh, I was testing out a little bit over there by the, uh, automatic sheep farm. Which you guys are going to see here in a minute, and it is awesome. I've been needing this so much, especially for Funland. We're using a lot of wool and doing a lot of like pixel art and stuff like that. But I talked about this briefly, one episode. But we're actually going to be doing like a lake town out there. Uh, kind of like if you guys have seen The Hobbit, which I'm sure everybody has. And uh, one of the movies, there is a town just based solely on a huge lake. I'm not sure if I'll take these islands out or not. But uh, basically, we're just going to have a bunch of like houses and stuff over the water and uh it's gonna be pretty cool i have an idea in my mind how i want to do it it's only gonna be accessible through uh where are we going it's only gonna be accessible through like boats you can't get through it you know just walking over a bridge or something so that's kind of the thought process behind that so that should be coming up uh you know sometime soon i don't know if i'm gonna do the jungle probably do the jungle before i do that so let's go ahead and head over here and check out the automatic sheep farm really quick or semi semi automatic and we'll check that out I want to show you guys the uh, well some of the issues I had with it well one of those was finding a pickaxe that had silk touch and I don't know I did have, I was like level 60 something XP and uh, as you can see where is it at uh, yeah right here I finally got a diamond pickaxe silk touch guys and it took Oh my god, like 8 or 9 level 30 enchant pickaxes to do that. And I heard a bunch of different things like you need to use iron, you need to use uh, diamond, you need to use gold pickaxes. And so I'll just show you guys really quick what I went through uh, to do that. And oh my, it was... <laughs> oh, it sucked. I For some reason I thought like Xbox might have even took out because... I've never had that much trouble getting one before, but here's all the ones, see, see I have an iron one, I even tried it on a sword, but here's all the different ones, I did get some good ones, like with fortune 3, fortune 3, fortune 2, and I had 3 waiting, pretty much to use all my diamonds I had to do that, because for this uh, building, or the sheep farm, I mean, you need, is he up here still? Yeah, for the sheep farm, I mean, you need, uh, you need ice. To help the wool go by faster to kind of transport to the chest and the hoppers quicker so 
you needed ice and I don't know where my dog's at. I think he's lost. Maybe he'll maybe he'll teleport. We'll see. So unless I just doomed him. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, so here's the sheet farm right here. We're, oh dear go. Oh my god, I scared the crap out of me. So here's the sheet farm. I kinda wanna show you guys this really quick before we go and I dive into that. Because it'll take me a whole minute to explain, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm so glad I have to keep avoiding it. I have been the past episode or two. But this right here, leading all the way down, this is actually a zombie XP farm, or, well, there's a zombie uh, spawner down there, just like we have in our skeleton spawner. So that's actually right down there, guys. So hopefully here really soon, I'll be making that. I'll probably be doing the, kind of the same design as that house, but kind of make it more, just a different design, small house, you know. So, that's what that tower is. If you see that, it's the zombie XP farm. And this over here is my failed attempt. I was going to do a big tree farm. But as you can see, I have a bunch of just ugly trees. And I totally forgot to put glass over the tree saplings before they grew. So, oh, it just it turned out really badly. So, I might keep this. I might not. I don't know what I'm going to do. Might make this a giant dome. But I was going to have like oak... Uh, birch, you know, all the different kinds, and just have them laying out here, so I still might do it. I kind of, I just took all the trees up because there were nothing but trees in here, but uh, yeah, whenever I started up the series again, that's the first thing I did. So that's been here for a whole minute, but I kind of stopped on it right now, and so let's go over here really quick. I really need to add a path through here. So if you guys remember, when we were doing our lighthouse, we had a bunch of sheep in here, probably like 10 or 12 sheep. And they've since been moved to the sheep farm. And uh, so that's where all these sheep came from. There's a few that I had to breed and a few I had to find. But here's all of our dyes. So basically, we have every single colored sheep in this farm right here. Okay. This is a uh, design by K.I. Inc. I believe his name is. Uh, his looks a little bit different than mine. I can't let the dog get in here because he will attack the sheep. It. Oh god, no, I'm paranoid. He cannot get in here. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, so this is his design. Was this? He had different colors. I think he used sandstone. Um, I did a couple things different, but it's pretty much the same exact design. So basically, what you do is all you do is just come through here, and you shear all the sheep like that. Come up to the second floor. Shear all the sheep. All right, then you come back down here, and this is this is my favorite part. You click this button, and then you watch all the wool that you just sheared slide down, and it all comes to this chest right here. This light right here indicates uh, when we're getting them. Whenever it flashes, just means a new one's popping in. If it's constantly on, that just means it's they're constantly popping in, as you can see right there. So now no more is coming in. Whenever you click this button, the pistons will push out. They'll push the wool out into this water. And it'll flow down here into a hopper and into the chest. There's also water up here up top. And this water all flows this way. Same exact concept. It was extremely hard getting the sheep up here. A lot of dirt uh, towers. Oh, I mean, a lot of dirt stairs. And it's very loud. They get really annoying. So I'm sorry if this is pretty loud. I'll step away here really quick. But uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. I did have a problem with all this grass growing on this first floor. So I had to go in and uh, take this block out and put an actual grass block there. I had to use my silk touch pickaxe. But uh, yeah, guys, it turned out awesome. I really love this thing. I added a crafting table in. Uh, eventually, uh, eventually, we're going to add in a kind of storage building. Kind of like what we did with the, uh, the chow building over there or the chicken cow farm building. And we're probably going to add that right here. Oh, God. <laughs> we're probably going to add that right here and have one for all the different dyes we have and then have you know separate chests for all the different colors of wool that we have and the carpets and stuff so um, I'm so stoked about this I need this so much we're about to be doing a lot of pixel art about to be doing a lot of statues and stuff that require this I already have a couple built over in Funland so I'm super super stoked about having that it's going to make life way easier and yeah guys that is uh that is all. That is the uh, big surprise right there. Was that, or at least the project of the day? I really need to cut all this grass. Oh God, no! All right, come on, buddy. I'm sorry. Here you go. Eat some of that. I'm sorry, buddy. Is he not gonna follow me now? Okay. 
So yeah, here's where I was kind of experimenting, uh, planting bow mill down and getting different flowers to come up. Also here as well, that's why it's so overgrown now. And here as well. So yeah, guys, I believe that is it all I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing for next episode. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the blaze farm yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be, you know, finishing up the mine and putting the industrial furnace down in there yet. And I've also been kind of thinking about doing a slime farm, so... Not sure yet, guys, of what we're going to be doing. Uh, this video should be coming out, I believe, on a Friday. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully by the following Monday, I will know what we're going to be doing. I will be going to Florida uh, next week, so there might only be one video out next week. But you can bet your bottoms that episode 25 is going to be amazing. I am looking forward to that so much, guys. I can't wait to do a world tour and kind of reminisce on some of the stuff that we have built. I uh, have not been in in a while. And just kind of see some of the stories behind everything and see everything that we've built so far. So that's probably going to be a pretty long episode. Um, I'm really excited about how far we've come. Just 17 episodes in, guys. I feel like we've, you know, got a pretty decent world going. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about everything that we're doing. All the potential that it has. And, uh, yeah, it just, I'm just super excited, guys. So I want to thank you, everybody, for the amazing support you have shown uh, here lately with the new reboot of the series. It really means a lot to me. If you'd like to be a part of this server, or well, this is on Xbox One, but if you'd like to join the world and be a part of it and build your own house in the community village area, please just let me know. Send me a message, uh, send me a comment, tweet me on Twitter, and we'll get that hooked up, guys. So I really appreciate all the support on this channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps with the ranking of the video. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you would like to see more. Oh, God, no! <laughs>